All right, Dan Holfeld here for Talk is Cheap. Big news, I'm sure you've heard it already. This happened yesterday. David Rockefeller is dead at age 101. And I want to thank Cleaver Kushland for telling me this. He's the first one that told me about it on Facebook. And sure enough, there's the article. Billionaire banker David Rockefeller dies age 101. And it, it says, of course, he's the... He retired as a Chase Manhattan head of it in 1981. But what's funny here is they say that who had an estimated fortune at three billion. I think that's a little low. I'm, third, I'm sure it was more like 30 billion. Look at that. He's just this guy wanted to rule your life. He just looks like a dead pig. But I don't want to sit here and make fun too much of you know somebody dying. But this is one of the guys that really wanted control of humanity. And how do we know his, it was in his memoirs, his memoirs of David Rockefeller. His quotes, where is it? Right here. We are part of a secret cabal working against the best interests, interests of the United States. If that's the charge, I stand guilty and am proud of it. This guy wanted complete control. And he also says here, oh, let's talk a little bit about fake news. He's grateful to them because we are grateful to the Washington Post, the New York Times uh, magazine and other publications who directors have attended our meetings. So they're talking like Bilderberg and stuff and respected their promises of discre uh, discretion for almost 40 years. It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if it had been subject to the light of publicity during those years. But the world is more sophisticated and prepared to march towards a world government. A supernatural sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers is surely preferable to the national auto-determination practiced in past centuries. So yeah, this guy was the head of the Bilderberg meetings. I don't know if you guys know about Bilderberg meetings. I'm sure you do. He basically wanted complete, total control. And like I said, this is a victory for humanity now that he's finally passed away. Sometimes I'm a little skeptical. It's like, did he really pass? Or did they put his brain in a jar or something? Because these are the elite who had access to life extension technologies too. And stay tuned for the next... I'm going to do another video today too about life extension technology. But like I said, it's a victory. I don't like to take pleasure off somebody dying, but this was a bad one for humanity. So cheers to free humanity.